Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to reset Windows 10. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and it's running Windows 10, and this is going to be pretty straightforward. Now, I do want to say before we get started that if you have any data on here, depending on how you go about and do this, you could wipe and lose all of your data. So be sure that you are aware of that, that you have your data backed up, and I'll show you a quick way to back it up also. But if you have Windows 10, what you want to do is go down to the Start button here, now you can use a mouse or touch or whatever you want to do. And then you want to go ahead and hit settings. And once it brings up settings, now it might be a little box like this. It makes no difference. I just made this or maximized this rather. And in the bottom right, you have update and security. So you go ahead and hit update and security. Now it may show you, you have updates or whatever. And if you're having a problem, try updating first. But if you want to reset this to default so that you can actually sell it, uh, get a new one, trade it in, whatever you want to do with it, this is going to be the best way to do that. Now, first, if you have data on here and you want to back it up, just simply go to backup. And you'll see there's backup your files to another drive and restore them if originals are lost, damaged, or deleted. So you'll want to go ahead and do that before erasing this device. Now, you can add a drive and there's all sorts of options, but you'll be able to do it through here. Now this particular video is going to show you how to actually delete or recover your device. So here you have reset this PC. You also have advanced startup. So there's two different options here. Resetting the PC will actually reset it to default or you can keep your files and reset the operating system. So basically it takes all your files, puts them in a bundle, moves that bundle aside, wipes everything on the computer, puts the bundle back and installs it back to the computer. Hopefully, if that works right, everything stays in place. I've had it work both ways where everything stays in place and then I've had it so it doesn't work so well and I lose a bunch of things. So you want to make sure you do that backup first. I just want to emphasize that for anyone trying this. Advanced startup is if you want to troubleshoot, basically. If you have an advanced startup, you have a, a boot drive or something like that, you can use advanced startup and restart now. Let's go ahead and reset this PC and we'll hit get started. Now under get started, we have three options, keep my files. So it removes apps and settings, like I said before, but keeps your personal files. We have another option where it says remove everything, removes all of your personal files, apps and settings, or we have restore factory settings. And that's what we're going to do here. So we've got those three options and just be very careful which one you hit. You'll have a couple chances before you proceed fully through this, but this one is restore factory settings. So it removes your personal files, apps, and settings and reinstalls the version of windows that came on this PC. And that would be uh, windows eight with this particular device. So let's go ahead and restore factory settings. And then it says getting things ready. This won't take long. Now I did fully reinstall windows 10 on this device and we'll see if that takes. So it says just remove the files or remove the files and clean the drive. So this is quicker, but less secure. So if you have things on here, you're afraid of people maybe getting a hold of uh, some private photos, you may want to do remove files and clean the drive. So this takes a few hours, like it says here, but it will make it harder for someone to recover your removed files. So th use this if you're recycling the PC. I'm not recycling the PC, so I'll just remove the files. So it wants me to plug this in before I reset it. So I'll go ahead and do that. I've got my plug here, so I'll go ahead and plug it into the side. Now that it's plugged in, it says it's ready to restore. So we'll go ahead and hit restore and it will restart and start to restore. Now this can take a little bit of time, but once it comes back up, we'll take a look at it and I'll show you exactly what it does. The surface has been completely restored to factory default. And what I did just to show you is I actually signed in. So I used my Microsoft account, went through the first initial setup and signed into the device. And you can see we're back to Windows 8. If we swipe from the right, we've got the charms here and it's Windows 8. You flip to the desktop, flip back. So this is a previous version. It restored to exactly what it was 
prior to Windows 10 or what we had. It, it restored to exactly how it was out of the box. So if you want to go back to Windows 10, which it actually recommended when I did the restore and came back through the setup, uh, you can do that and you can do it free later on, but I just wanted to show you that's the actual steps to do that. Now, if you did a restore and you kept your data, it wouldn't necessarily revert back. It would keep Windows 10 and just move your data back. It'll let you know, though, what it's doing either way. The whole process took me about 30 minutes to, to wipe everything and then another couple minutes to set it up. And that was pretty simple. Now, one of the other things I wanted to mention is I used my Microsoft account to sign in. And there's my Microsoft account and everything that I've purchased on here is actually tied to that account. So I can go back down to all my apps. I've either bought or downloaded some of these at one point, whether they're free or paid, and I can just re-download them because they're tied to my Microsoft account. So you don't lose those or anything. You'll just have to reinstall them. As far as your save games and everything, that will probably be wiped. It depends on where it saves it. Uh, but for the most part, you'll get everything back and you won't have an issue there. Some of these may not work on Windows 8, so you might have to upgrade to Windows 10 just to do that anyway, but I think most people would want to do that regardless. But if you have any other questions or comments regarding the restore, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see how to back up your Microsoft Surface uh, or Windows 10 or whatever, uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we'll do another video also. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.